Uh, let's pick up on that story again with uh, Aspen Pharmacare and uh, Johnson & Johnson. That's right, Jeremy. So we are back and we are talking about the big story in the business world. And joining me now to talk about this further is Stephen Saas, Saad, rather, who's the CEO at Aspen. Stephen, thanks for your time this evening. So obviously this is a big business opportunity for Aspen and South Africa. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a fantastic opportunity for humanity, really. Um, you know, these vaccines work. I think we all Pretty, we're pretty excited to take the masks and the sanitizers and throw them away um, because uh, I think we, we've really got to try and find solutions for this virus. Um, from a, a purely selfish South African point of view and an Aspen perspective, really proud to be, to be considered for one of the top candidates and for it to be made uh, in South Africa. So something we're very, very proud of and worked very hard to get into this position over the last few years. Obviously, this speaks to your manufacturing uh, capacity at the PE plant, and surely this is going to be an even more complex uh, 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 medicine or vaccine uh, to establish. So I'm just wondering, are you going to have to spend some capital on increasing capacity of the plant in PE? And what does this mean for things like employment opportunities? Okay, so so the we fortunately have spent you know we're spending over three billion on our sterile plant in Port Elizabeth, um, and what this does is accelerates utilization of that site. And uh, you know if if all goes well and we could be manufacturing uh, drug products, a product to be sold, it could be as early as sort of March and April of next year. So uh, it's not a long way away if the tech transfer goes well and the vaccines approved. Um, and so with that type, you know, if that is achieved, you know, we have an ability to make hundreds of millions of, you know, over 300 million to be precise in that particular area. Now, if you think about 300 million of anything, uh, it's going to require a lot of products, a lot of components, and it will mean, of course, uh, there'll be more, there'll be employment as well. Uh, but the, the big thing for us is that we have this capacity. It's just come online. And so we're really in a fantastic position to do it. And it's, we're really proud to have the capabilities. Uh, there's not many companies in the world that have capabilities around vaccines, particularly complicated ones that require the type of containment that these ones require. Right. And of course, when you talk about the 300 million there, you're speaking about the production capacity of the doses that will be produced annually. So that's a very impressive number. Now, this will obviously be beneficial for distribution across the African continent. There are poorer nations who obviously won't have easy access to the vaccine. Now for there to be this opportunity for Aspen with a footprint in Africa, this significantly changes uh, the ball game, doesn't it? Yeah, I think the, the, big, the big plus with Johnson & Johnson uh, for us was that they were an absolute commitment to universal coverage for their vaccine. They've gone publicly, uh, they have the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And in addition, they've promised, you know, up to 500 million doses for developing world. Now, for us to feed into that distribution system, if we're making hundreds of millions of vaccines, we hope for them, then that would be really positive to make it sure they deliver on those objectives and hopefully can over deliver. Um, and, you know, it's very important to, to maximize the number of vaccines that one can have access to as quickly as possible. You know, if we don't have a lot of volume, it's going to take a long, it's going to take many, many years to, to get vaccines to all in need. Mm. Let's speak about what still needs to be done to finalise the agreement between yourself and Johnson and Johnson. Johnson's. Surely uh, there are some uh, things that need to be finalised. Yeah, I, I think they they really uh, crossing T's and dotting I's. At the end of the day, we have the technology agreement. We have agreed capacities within the aware of our capacity. So I think so much now depends on the success of the phase three trial. So that's, uh, you know, if that, if that is successful and they've got 60,000 patients, so that's 30,000 patients that have the drug and 30,000 patients that don't have the drug, but no one's aware who has and hasn't got it. Everyone's been injected. So it's a very large trial. Um, and, you know, with, if those results are positive, you know, we're, we're in a great position. At the end of the day, we've got good capacities, good capabilities. Uh, we've had a few options 
around which vaccine to, to look at. There's been a lot of interest in our capacities and capability, but uh, you know we're very comfortable with where we've settled here with uh, Johnson & Johnson. Yeah, and that was going to be my final question to you, Stephen. This partnership, a significant one between yourselves and Johnson & Johnson, and just um, in the long term, other partnerships uh, to help the developing world, particularly Africa, um, uh, to create uh, the most necessary drugs for uh, various ailments. Yeah, we've, we've, we as a company really have prided ourselves as really punching above our weight, really, in terms of trying to help humanity. You know, I think you all know Aspen's history well in terms of what we've contributed in antiretrovirals and multidose resistant TB. And now with COVID, you know, we've been one of the lead suppliers in the world in anesthetics. We came to the market with dexamethasone. And, uh, and now, you know, to be able to assist with the vaccine is really the cherry on the top, you know, in, in life. To, to have an opportunity to work in a company like this and contribute like this is, is something one can, can only really dream of and uh, be really proud of, of where we've got to and what we've achieved as a company. Stephen Saad, who's the chief executive of Aspen Pharmacare, talking us through the new partnership with uh, Johnson & Johnson. And, of course, it will allow for universal access to that all-important vaccine for COVID-19, Jeremy.